but um, I don't know why I'm thinking that she's having one and it's probably gonna be a boy. Who's that? Listen. Oh, that is Annabelle. A doe. Hold on, I think Clara fell. Oh my gosh, she just fell and picked herself up. I'm telling you, Clara. She's such a weirdo. It's all for a scientific purpose. It's not that I just want to keep having goats here or keeping those here. <laughs> Probably need a bigger part though. It is raining in here. Are you kidding me right now? I can see the, like this mist on top of the camera. <sighs> Pouring in in the rain. I love it. Not in here though. Oh my gosh, what am I doing here? Hello friends and welcome back to the Heavenly Homestead. Today I wanted to do a fun video guessing how many babies my does have and those bellies. Who's that? Listen. Oh, that is Annabelle. You do know that. Who's here? <gasps> Who's kicking the gate? You guess that in the comments down below. Naughty. And there's your child right there looking at you and thinking, my mother is a terrible goat. Maybe not, maybe that's not what she's thinking, but I think she should be thinking that. Right now, I have six pregnant goats and I thought it'd be interesting to do this video and ask you guys what you think about this moms. How many babies are there, are they going to have? Now I'm gonna tell you what I think, which it could be completely irrelevant because what do I know? Absolutely nothing, apparently. And now they're all watching me right now film this video. I am sorry. I'm gonna give you guys the rundown of what, who's gonna have how many babies. I know, they hate me for it. So anyways, I'm kind of in an awkward position. It is raining outside, but I did want to <laughs> film this video that I've been thinking for a while and I'm like, by the time I sit down to record this video, they're gonna have their babies already and that's not good. So, let's start with Clara. How many babies do you think she'll have? From behind, you can see Clara. That is Clara's daughter. I'm gonna give you a little backstory. Her first kidding, she had twins. Her second one, she had triplets. Then, the third one, she had quads. The fourth one, she had quads, and this is gonna be her fifth one. So, I don't know how many babies you think she'll have, but I think that she looks pretty much the same as last year. So, it is very likely in my head and in my opinion that she will have quads. Now, she might have two bigger babies, and that's why, you know, she's showing the weight. She's showing the way that she is, but um, I think she'll have four smaller babies and not two bigger ones, but it could be anything, really. With Clara, you'll never know. Now, for Mocha, and that is Mocha's, but you cannot see it. And that's a better look at Mocha's. So, now you can see Annie from behind. Wait, you right by a mocha. I think she's pushing on her belly, but it looks smaller. Mocha. Um, the first year she had twins. She had Gaia and Brie. And then the second year she had quads, four boys. And then this is gonna be her third year. And because of her size, and that's all the science that's gonna go, she's really upset. She's really upset that I'm here and she's not. And that's all the science that I'm gonna base my opinion on. I do think that Moga is gonna have quads. Um, she's carrying the way, the, a similar way that she did last year. Last year, I had no idea she had quads. Um, but she's very much like Clara, she's very deep. So instead of like 
her belly kind of being round on top it kind of goes more flat and down because she's so deep so I do think that Moga is carrying quads maybe she'll surprise us and maybe she'll have triplets or twins and bigger because last year hers were kind of small as well but still healthy weights three pounds I think three of them were three pounds and there was only one that was only two almost three pounds as well two something so smaller babies but I still think that Mocha will have quads what do you think Mocha will have I'd love to know then we have Annabelle who <laughs> The first year she had one and uh, she had Taz, our buck, you probably met him. He's the beautiful blue-eyed boy that I love so much but he's so needy. Then we had the second year she had triplets, two girls and one boy. And that is Annie's udder. Now you can see Annie from behind. Wait, you're right by Amoka. I think she's pushing on her belly, but it's a little smaller. And to be honest with Annie, I never know what she's going to do because she explodes last minute. If you remember, I'm going to try to find that picture, but if you remember, Annie was so round, like round and deep and crazy, and so... <laughs> last year but I would I never would have guessed that she had four I never thought she would have quads she only had triplets um, with Annie I'm kind of hesitant I would say three that she's gonna have but I don't know I really don't feel very strongly one way or the other I don't know she's just kind of an oddball and I never know what to expect from her the next one is gonna be Gaia and Gaia Gaia, that's Gaia over there. She looked like she was going to have one kid. And I'm going to say from the get-go, I think she's going to have a single. I'm hoping for twins, at least, from her. But um, I don't know why I'm thinking that she's having one and it's probably going to be a boy. I hope that she surprises me and she has smaller babies that will be easier to pass for a first time mom and that uh, she's not gonna have um, a boy. I really would love to have a girl from her and Dom that I could keep. Yeah, I know. So that's gonna be an interesting one. But if I had to guess about Gaia, I think Gaia is going to have. I hope not, but I think she's gonna have one. Um, I had a really traumatic uh, kidding of Annabelle when she had that one buckling. It was traumatic. I had nightmares for days. And then the next day, Mocha was due and I had to help her deliver the twins. And Gaia was ginormous compared to Brie. And I, and I also had to pull her, but it wasn't the same. When I pulled the little buckling from Annabelle, you know how they come, let's say, these are the legs and this is the nose. You know, the nose goes on top of the head. Well, he was twisted to the side. And so, she was pushing him and, you know, his head would come out, but it was like his shoulders because instead of being like this, they were like this, they were kind of locking him in. So, as I was obsessing for the first time any birth, okay, I was scared to death, but I managed to keep it together. I just, with two fingers or three fingers, I don't remember how many fingers, but I pushed him in and tried to put him in position like this. <laughs> And um, I tried a few times and then there was this one time where she didn't push against my finger that he kind of locked in a way that he could come out. So, very traumatic. I hope none, 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 none of my girls have singles again because I'm telling you, I get PTSD every time I think about a single buckling. Okay, last um, one for March and then we'll go with the theme which is just going to be a wild guess. But, um, Briere. And that is Briere. This one right here. 
Briere is more wide than she is deep. So I think Briere is going to have twins. I think. And if I had to guess the sex, I want to say she's going to have twin girls. I don't know why, but I have that feeling that she's going to have twin girls. Now watch her have triplets and they're all bucklings. Who knows? Um, this year I didn't use Rocky for any of the greetings. That was my bad. I should have used them with Mocha, but I didn't. And um, so I used Dom very heavily. So I'm really hoping to keep a doe. Hold on, I think Clara fell. Oh my gosh, she just fell and picked herself up. I'm telling you, Clara, she's such a weirdo. She does those things. I don't know why, but she does those things. She'd be doing those things. Anyway, so my idea for Bria is that she's going to have twin girls. Why, you're asking? Well, at this point, she's due on the 4th. And today is the 6th. So she still has, a, a, you know, what, four weeks or so. Uh, and her udder is smaller than Gaia's. So that's my unscientific record of this. Who knows? I'll be watching this when they can and probably have something completely different to report to you. But her udder is smaller. And I'm assuming she has girls in that belly. I am hoping that Gaia has girls in that belly too. Um, because as I was saying, I'm trying to keep a doling from Clara because she's going to be the last one that will be bred to Taz before he leaves to his new farm. And then uh, I want to keep a doe out of Gaia, Bree, Mocha and Annie, one for each of them. Uh, because I want to compare them as how Dom will do compared to Rocky because that's that's my main purpose, okay? It's all for a scientific purpose. It's not that I just want to keep having goats here or keeping those. <laughs> Probably need a bigger part though. Anyways, so those are my predictions for the girls that are going to have babies in the month of March. It is raining in here. Are you kidding me right now? I can see the like this mist on top of the camera. Pouring in in the rain. I love it. Not in here though. Anyway, so for Athene, finally. She's due May 14th. I have no idea. She's not showing at all. But I have the feeling that she's probably gonna have twins. Watch her have four, like her grandma Kalani, which is um, Rocky's dam. I don't know if she had quads the first time she had babies, but watch Athene have four babies. Because Athene is like an exact copy of her great dam, which is Rocky's mom. Uh, she has the same colors and the same places, like so the same pattern, the same colors, and uh, she reminds me so much of Rocky's dam that you know, she could surprise us with her first kidding. Uh, she's starting to gain weight. Remember, I was telling you that she lost five pounds. Uh, she gained those five pounds really easily as of lately. And she's very calm. She's very back to herself after we were away for so long. I think she was kind of missing the routine and she wasn't doing that great when we were in here after the accident. So it was kind of hard for her, but she is getting all that weight back. Don't worry about that. So um, I think she's going to have twins, I'm just talking with my non-scientific facts that I continue to share with you, but uh, we'll see closer to the date, maybe I'll do a more, <laughs> a more no, I don't want to say accurate prediction, because you know, looking at their belly sizes is never going to be accurate, but according to how wide she's looking at, uh, closer, I could change my mind, but if I could guess, uh, Maybe I'm just projecting and I'm just hoping for twins because I want her to, you know, have a very great 
far as freshening um, and not make it so hard for me because for freshen first fresheners kind of scare me quite a bit uh, again with Annabelle and Mocha they were wide enough they were big enough they, they passed those babies um, it was just you know sometimes it's the not knowing you know you see them push and push and push and the babies are not coming out and that makes you a little bit more uncomfortable and then on top of that being a newbie for the first time and seeing that kid coming sideways I was like oh my gosh what am I doing here so anyways that is what I think how many babies that is my prediction for the number of babies but I would love to know what you think um, I'm gonna have the kiddings of Annabelle, the two kittens she had in our farm, two kittens the Mocha had in our farm. I'm gonna link them down below. I'm gonna also link Clara's and hopefully if you want to compare and kind of cheat and see why I think she's gonna have quads then you can check that video out. You can look at her other and all the things that happened right before she had the quad. So if you're new around here, please remember to subscribe and ring the notification so you can be notified. But my plan is for the month of February is doing Monday, Wednesday, and Friday videos. Could be in the morning, could be in the afternoon, but you know, on those days. And then stay tuned for Vlog March where I'm gonna share a new video every day during the week and we will have five kittings five kittings and then we're gonna have a lot of changes in how we're gonna raise those babies so I'm gonna be sharing a bunch of baby goat videos that I cannot wait for so thank you so much for being there today guys I appreciate it and I'll come to you guys next time bye guys